right, for this tutorial, we're gonna be drawing a cute little cactus, kind of cartoony style. So, we're gonna use watercolors, so we need to have thick paper, either watercolor paper or Bristol board. You need a pencil. I would recommend having some round paint brushes, small, medium, and a large. A cup of water, paper towels, and then your watercolor paints. I'm gonna use the hard kind, they do have liquid kinds, and then your paint tray. If you don't have a paint tray, this came on the top of this. Just use your recycling, any kind of Tupperware plastic will do. I'm going to do a very small um, drawing on this paper. So a cactus is kind of like a hot dog shape. I'm going to give it a little bit of ground here. And then we're going to make one arm, if you want to call it an arm, go like this. And then the other arm is a little bit lower, go like this. We want the width of these to be about the same, so either I need to make this one skinnier to match this one or this one lighter. I'm going to make this one skinnier. That's why we have erasers, they are our magical friends. Ooh, this eraser is not working too well. I got my little cute emoji one. This one works better. Okay. Once you feel like you have the shape you like, this should be almost to the top. Fill your space. You don't want to have a lot of negative white space. Let's give a little bit of ground. And then let's give it some spikes. So they're just short little straight lines. Mostly let's put them on the edges. You can put a few on the inside, but mostly on the edges, little short straight lines. It's cute if you actually make them go in different directions so they're not all straight, so somewhere diagonal. Maybe I'll put a couple more towards the inside. Feel free to pause or slow down your video at any time. All right, now let's give it a cute little face. I'm gonna make an oval, and an oval, close together. And we're going to do a curved line, curved line. Then we're going to do a circle, circle. And let's give it some funny eyebrows. We're going to shade in this part of the oval. Leave the little circles white. The reason why when you see eyes that are drawn or painted, uh, they have a white dot in them is because our eyes are wet. We blink a lot, um, tears come out of our eyes, so when re light reflects on our eyes, it makes a little white shine in your eyes. Try it out, look in the mirror, look at your eyes. You have a reflection in there. All right, let's give a little smile. Teeny tiny you. And then a little tongue. So under your U, make a bigger U. And then a curved line. And then another short curved line for the tongue. And there's this little happy now. Let's give it some just random grass. You notice that the different heights, they're curved lines, they're not perfectly straight. They're kind of fast and messy. So there is our sketch. You notice I didn't press too hard with my pencil because I don't want the pencil to show up as much once I paint over it. It'd be kind of fun to do a cute little background. So let's do the background first. You always paint the background first. What if we take a medium sized round brush or this one's a little too large. We're gonna dump, dip it in the water. I'm gonna do, let's do like a rainbow effect sort of. So you wet your brush. Let's go into our red paint. I like to swirl one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times to get enough pigment. Put it in your mixing tray. Test it out on your paper towel to see if you like the color. I like it. So I'm gonna start at the top. I'm just swiping side to side horizontally. Try not to get it on your little dude, on your little cactus. Keep in mind, um, if you have a hard time, you're like, oh my gosh, I keep getting it on the cactus. Not a big deal. You can always um, 
tape it off. You can take like painter's tape and tear little pieces up and cover it and then tear it off when you're done. Or they sell masking fluid. It's like a white liquid you can paint over the cactus and it dries and it turns to like a rubbery kind of stuff. And then when you're done, you rub it off. I'm just gonna try to not hit my cactus. If I do hit it, it's okay. We're gonna do kind of like an ombre effect. What happens when you mix yellow with red? It's gonna turn orange, but you know what? Let's just go straight into the orange. I'm gonna rinse my brush, swish, swish, swish. I'm gonna swirl into my orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna go right below the red. It's almost like a sunset. Maybe we're in New Mexico and there's a cactus in the desert. I'm going to go So what's going to happen is when the orange hits the red, they blend together. If it's still wet, they'll blend. See that? Go a little bit onto the red, and they blend together and makes a nice pretty effect. Let's go and put it down. Once we get to about the mouth, we're going to stop with the orange. All right, swish your brush. Clean it off. Swish, swish, swish in the water. All right, let's go into our yellow. Yellow is a very light value shade of color, so we're gonna have to swirl it more than eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That way we pick up enough pigment. We're gonna go all the way down. Yes, you're gonna go over the grass. It's okay, we're gonna put the green over it later. Because our orange is still wet, the yellow should blend into it. Nicely. Go right up into the orange so it blends. Alright, and then let's stop at the ground. And do a nice little sunset kind of look for our background. Alright, rinse your brush. Let's get some brown, like a light brown shade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get some brown on the ground. And all of that's still wet, so let's. Um, wait a minute for it to dry. If I didn't wait and I started painting the cactus green right now, it would bleed into the wet parts and there's still wet touching it. So we're gonna have to wait a minute. Okay, I paused the video. Um, it's been two minutes now. It's not shine, as shiny around the cactus, so it's almost dry. We're gonna get a light green. Take your brush in the water, make sure it's clean. Let's do a light green color. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. Let's color our cactus. Let's keep this a little time. We're gonna add a darker value shade, a different shade of green in a minute. This is just our base coat. This is called color blocking. When you color something with one solid color, try not to get it in the eyes. And then the eyes light. We will go over the this part for black. You could use a sharpie, but I'm gonna use black paint. For the eyes. All right. So you've got your light green in there. All right. Now, let your brush again. Go into a darker shade of green. If you don't have a darker shade of green, you can make one by adding a little bit of red to your green paint or a little bit of black. So we need to know where's our light source. Let's say the light's coming from up here. That means the right hand sides are going to be lighter. So we're going to put the darker green on the left side of everything. Give it some depth to make it look like it has form so it doesn't look flat. Because the light green is still wet, it's blending a little bit, it's bleeding, which is good. We want that. Right. While we have our dark green out, remember that grass? Let's go over our grass lines really quick flick of the wrist to get it to be thicker at the bottom and thinner at the top. You gotta flick, flick, flick. You want them to be different heights. You don't want them to all be the same. You want that variation. Right. Switch to your really tiny brush. You got it? Let's get the lot. One, two, three, four, five, six ones. And let's go over the black part of the eye. If this is tricky for you, you can use a black marker, sharpie or something instead. Okay, and the front one. Alright, let's go 
వేసుకోవాలి go over your little spikes with your really small brush really quick marks you don't want these to be thick if you're having a hard time with this once again if you have an extra fine point sharpie that would work too it's up to you if you don't have a really small paintbrush like this you could use an extra fine point sharpie all right So you just painted a cute little happy cactus. Nice job. I do teach remote art lessons with Greekly.com. My website is CelestePalette.com. Feel free to email me if you would like private lessons. Or you can continue watching some free tutorials that I'll keep posting.